I've been waiting for a long time for these to be a feature in DaVinci Resolve and they finally did it. There was an update and I noticed that there was something really cool in the edit page. And the new feature is that you can now use keyboard shortcuts to add or edit keyframes directly in the edit page. First, go to your DaVinci Resolve keyboard customization and then go right here and, and find the keyframe section. Here, the first thing that shows up is the show keyframe editor, which I think it was done or it was there already by default, but that activates once you have added a keyframe and that's these little box. So now you press Ctrl Shift C and that opens right there. Now back in our keyboard customization section, we can find here that there are a couple of things here. And this one is called mark right here. And it says add a keyframe, which is control. And then I don't know what that is called. Maybe ear handle, I guess some people call it, or maybe a nod. These are a couple of things that you can actually just change later on. And if you have like one of those custom tools that you have random keys that you can set these up to, then you can use that if you want to. And then keyframe timeline mode, and then you can adjust things right here. Even moving, so like take keyframe down. For example, you can create a match section for like, let's say the ear handle and another letter or like the arrows and create a combination of keys so that you can move those right from your keyboard section. That way you don't have to drag them with your mouse like that. That's the keyboard customization section. Now, how does this work? Now, the thing is that when you go here to your inspector, you can see there's so many different options that you can add keyframes from. Maybe in the future, they will add a way for you to create custom shortcuts for each of those options, like ear handle, control and Z, maybe for the zoom section or like the, the zoom value. But right now it works like this. If you click on the zoom, for example, you add that first keyframe and then you move a little bit, then we can add a keyframe by, by pressing the control and the ear handle. Let's press control and shift C to see that keyframe, right? Now, this obviously is not going to change the value of what we had added there, but you can then later on already know where the keyframes are and more easily adjust them. After you have added two of those keyframes, you can actually use the ear handle to go from one keyframe to another one. Maybe that was already a function in the past, but that's how it works. You can use the ear handle to go from one to the next and then go back. Now, what happens if you want to remove this keyframe? All you have to do is press Alt and then that closing ear handle, right? So Alt and the closing ear handle, that's by default. And if you change the keyboard customization, then it's going to be whatever you set it up to be. But that's how you get rid of that keyframe. Now, what happens if there's another value that you want to change if you want to change another value all you have to do is let's say you go to the rotation you want to add a keyframe on the rotation section after you have added that first keyframe you just go whatever your clip is and press control and that opening ear handle and that will add a keyframe for your rotation angle the first time i open it it actually created an automatic keyframe on the volume section right here now if that doesn't work right now when you're doing these like let's say you open you create the first keyframe on the volume section and then you want to add another one right here and press the control and open handle it actually added the previous one which is a rotation one what you can do is actually instead of having that what you can do is just unlink the clips and then when you press control and open handle that will adjust the keyframe now this is great for when you want to mark things up before you actually adjust any values and it really depends on your workflow right if you do want to adjust things then you would just go press the handle to go to that keyframe and then maybe lower the volume right here and then if you want to add another one let's say right here and then increase the volume then you just add that second keyframe and then go like that and then it goes back up now this will definitely make your workflow faster after you get used to it a little bit but there's definitely improvements that could be done like anything else right now there's also one thing that you can that they say that you can do which is modify keyframes while the playback is moving and i think that refers to moving them like this not moving the actual value right here because if you increase the value of the zoom for example or decrease it while it's playing you can see that it adds a ton of keyframes right so I think that's what they refer to that maybe in the past you were not able to drag these. I'm not exactly sure. So I think that's what they refer to. Not exactly that you can adjust the values here because obviously any change that you make when there's a keyframe active, then you're basically adding a ton more keyframes, right? So yeah, that is one quick video that I wanted to make showing you this cool new feature that they have added on the 18.5 beta 5 update that came out just today. Hopefully it helps and I'll see you in the next video here in Swabby. Bye.